Okay, we're going to start with the first eight measures. I'll play it through, and then we'll break it down. <laughs> Okay, so start with the open first string, then on the second fret of the first string with your middle finger, then on the third fret of the first string with your ring finger, do a finger roll. So that finger roll is the sixth string open, then open third string, open second string, and then the first string on the third fret. If you don't want to do that finger roll, you can just play it like this, which is just the uh, sixth in the first string. But every time the taps that we see an arrow like that, we're going to do a finger roll. Okay, so moving on, we have on the second fret of the first string, with your middle finger, then open first string. Then on the second fret, with your index finger, you'll push down on the fifth string. Then on the third fret, on the second string, with your ring finger, finger roll again. So we have... So that's that finger roll. So moving my middle finger out of the way so you can see that. So that's basically doing the finger roll playing on the 5th string, the 3rd string, and the 2nd string. Okay, then you move on to open 1st. Then on the 2nd fret of the 1st string, with your middle finger. Then on the 3rd fret of the 5th string, with your ring finger. So this finger roll is 5th uh, string, 3rd string, 2nd string, 1st string. Then on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string with your pinky. And then on the 1st fret of the 2nd string with your index finger. So all together we have Okay, we should be on measure 5 right now, and for this you go to the 2nd fret of the 5th string with your middle finger, and you do a finger roll. So that finger roll would be 5th string, 3rd string, 2nd string. Then on the 2nd fret of the 3rd string with your ring finger, then open 2nd. Now you move to this shape, which is 1st fret of the 2nd string with your index finger, and 2nd fret of the 4th string with your middle finger. Uh, you'll do finger roll, and that finger roll is the 5th string, 3rd string, 2nd string. Then you play the 4th string, which would already be fretted down with your middle finger. Then you play open first string. So all together you should have And from here uh you go to this shape, which is from the shape you had before, you move your middle finger down a string, and you'll put your pinky on the third fret of the second string. Okay? Like this. And you'll do a finger roll here. And that finger roll would be a fourth string, third string, second string. After that, you lift up your pinky and you play the second string. Then you lift up your index finger to play the open second. 
then you just play the third string. So, you should have... Okay, then next you go to the third fret of the sixth string with your ring finger, and you do a finger roll. So that finger roll is uh, sixth string, third string, second string. Then you play the open fourth string. Then you play the open third string, but you hammer on on the second fret with your middle finger. Okay. Then after that, you play open second string. So you should have. So to recap, we just looked at measures one through eight, and I'll play uh, I'll play through it very slowly. Now we're going to look at measures 9 through 16, and I'm going to play through it once right now. So we start with the open first string. Then on the second fret of the first string with your middle finger. Then onto the third fret of the first string with your ring finger. Do a finger roll. So that finger roll is the sixth string, third string, second string, first string. Then you slide up to the fifth fret. Stay on the first string. Okay. So all together we have after that you go back to the third fret of the first string with your uh, ring finger right then to the second fret on the 5th string with your index finger, and on the 2nd fret of the 1st string with your middle finger, do finger roll. So that finger roll is the 5th string, 3rd string, 2nd string, 1st string. Then you do open 1st string, so you lift up your middle finger. Then, on the 3rd fret on the 2nd string, with your ring finger. Okay, so you should have. Then on the third fret on the fifth string, with your middle finger, you do a finger roll. Okay, so that finger roll is fifth string, second string, first string. If you want to, you can do it with the third string as well, like this, which is what I do. So you can play it as fifth string, third string, second string, first string. Then on the second fret of the first string, with your index finger. Then on the third fret of the first string, with your pinky. Okay, so you should have. Then after that, you go to the second fret of the fifth string with your index finger. And then on the third fret of the second string with your ring finger, and you do a finger roll. So that's 5th string, 
third string, second string. I know on the tabs it says that uh, there's like another note there, but this is the way Gabriella plays it, so that's how we're gonna do it. Then on the fourth fret of the fourth string with your pinky, next you play open third. Okay, so you should have. Next, you go to this chord shape, which is what we had a bit earlier, if you can recall. So that's basically uh, first fret, second string, second fret on the fourth string with your middle finger. It's finger roll. So that finger roll is the fifth string, third string, second string. Then you play the fourth string. Then you play open first. Next, on the second fret of the fifth string with your index finger, you play a finger roll. So that finger roll is fifth string, third string, second string, first string. Then you also on the fourth fret, you add in this shape, okay, which is on the fourth fret on the 4th string with your ring finger, and on the 4th fret on the 2nd string with your pinky, you'll have this shape, and you'll play the 4th string, 2nd string, 4th string. So playing that sequence again. So after that, you just do a finger roll with uh, open strings. So that finger roll is the 6th string, 3rd string, 2nd string, 1st string. Then on the 2nd fret of the 5th string with your index finger. Then on the 3rd fret of the 6th string with your middle finger. Next is 2nd fret of the 6th string with your index finger. Then open 6th string. Okay, so that sequence should be like this. Pretty much after you play that, you can uh, kind of silence the strings with your hand, like this. So. And I'll just play measures 9 through 16 now for you, very slowly. video, we're going to look at measures 17 through 49. We're going to start by looking at measures 17 through 24, and I'm going to run through it right now. Okay, starting off at measure 17. We have the open first string. Then we have on the second fret of the first string with your middle finger. Next is on the third fret of the first string ring finger, do a finger roll. Open third string. Second fret on the first string middle finger. Open first string. Then on the second fret of the fifth string, index finger. 3rd fret, 2nd string, ring finger, do a finger roll, open 3rd string, open 1st string, 2nd fret, 1st string, middle finger. Next, on the 3rd fret of the 5th string with your ring finger, do a finger roll, 
open 3rd string, then on the 3rd fret 2nd string with your pinky, 1st fret 2nd string with your index finger, next on the 2nd fret of the 5th string with your middle finger, do a finger roll, open 3rd string, Hammer on to the 2nd fret 3rd string with your ring finger as you do that, so like this. Then open 2nd string. So we should have... And uh, measures 22 to 24 are the same as we did before, so I'll just play through it. Now we're going to look at measures 25 through 32, and it goes like this. So starting off from here. Okay, so on uh, measure 25, what we had before was this. Now you just put your index finger down on the 1st fret 4th string. Then you play on the 2nd fret 3rd string with your middle finger. Open 1st string. Then 2nd fret 1st string with your ring finger. Next is 3rd fret 1st string with your pinky, and you do a finger roll, and you leave your pinky on the 1st string, open 3rd string, 3rd fret 2nd string ring finger, you hit both the 1st and the 2nd strings, slide to the 5th fret as you do that, so like this, back to the 3rd fret and hit both the 1st and the 2nd strings as you come back. So all together, we have... Then, on the 2nd fret, 1st string, with your middle finger, do a finger roll on the 4th, 3rd, 2nd, and 1st strings. Then, on the 2nd fret, 3rd string, with your index finger. Then, open 1st string. Then 3rd fret 2nd string ring finger. Okay, so from here we have... Okay, and now measures 28 through 31 are the same as we did before, so I'll play through it. Next, you do a finger roll on the open strings. Then you put on the E major shape, okay, which would be on the 1st fret, 3rd string index finger, 2nd fret 5th string with your middle finger, and the 2nd fret 4th string with your ring finger. That's the E major shape. And when you have that on, you hit the 5th string. Then hit both the 4th and 3rd strings, then hit the open 2nd string. Okay, so it should sound like this. Now we're going to look at measures 33 through 40, and it goes like this. So starting on measure 33, uh, we left off on this E major chord, and uh, you're going to do a finger roll on the 6th, 4th, and 3rd strings, then open 1st string, then on the 3rd fret, 
on the first string with your pinky, you slide to the fifth fret, so, so all together. Next, you hit the string again and slide to the seventh fret, then bar on the fifth fret with your index finger to cover the first, second, and third strings, and then do a finger roll on the fifth, third, second, and first strings. So like this. Then you hit the third string while still barring. Then on the eighth fret first string with your pinky. Okay, so all together should sound like this. So from the beginning, okay, next release the bar and then do a finger roll on the fourth, third, second, and first strings. Then on the seventh fret, first string with your ring finger, fifth fret, first string with your index finger, then on the seventh fret, first string with your pinky. Then uh, you make this shape. You make this shape by keeping your pinky where it was, and then on the third fret of the sixth string with your index finger, do a finger roll on the sixth, third, second, and first strings. Then open third string. Then on the fifth fret, first string with your pinky. Then on the 2nd fret of the 1st string with your index finger. Okay, next on the 3rd fret of the 5th string with your middle finger. And on the 3rd fret 1st string with your ring finger, do a finger roll. Then do open 3rd string. Open 1st string. On the 2nd fret 1st string with your ring finger. Next, on the 3rd fret 1st string with your pinky, do a finger roll. 2nd fret 4th string with your middle finger. With your pinky in the same position, hit the 1st string and slide to the 5th fret. Back to the 3rd fret. Okay, so what we have is... Next, you put on a D major shape, like this, and that's 2nd fret on the 1st string with your middle finger, 2nd fret 3rd string with your index finger, 3rd fret 2nd string with your ring finger, do a finger roll, then it's the open 1st string. Then do a finger roll on the 3rd and 2nd strings. And then the open 2nd string. Okay, so we should have... Next, we're on the 3rd fret of the 6th string with your ring finger. Open 4th string open 3rd string, and on the 2nd fret you hammer on the 3rd string as you hit that note. Then open 2nd string. So that's... So from here we have... Now we'll look at measures 41 through 49, and I'll play through it one time. Okay. 
All right, so measures 41 through 46 should be self-explanatory because that's pretty much what we just did before. Um, so now we're going to go to measure 47. And um, uh, when you're on 47, you have the D major shape on. And you'll do a finger roll. Then open first string. Then finger roll on the D major shape again. Then on the third fret of the first string, put your pinky down. So measure 48, it's pretty much the same as what we did before, except we play on the first fret, second string with the index finger, instead of playing it open. So instead of what we did before, which was this. We'll play it like this. Okay. Next, with your ring finger in the same position, do a finger roll on the 6th, 3rd, and 2nd strings. Then open 3rd string, open 1st string, and then 2nd fret 1st string with your middle finger. Okay, and after that, you go back and you play measures 18 through 29 again. This video is going to cover measures 50 through 88. And to start, we'll be looking at measures 50 through 61, which I'll play through right now. So on measure 50, we have this familiar shape. Same as before, but we just add the open fifth string as the last note. So this one. Measures 51 and 52 are the same as before. So I'll just play through that. Now on uh, measure 53, same as before, but the last two notes are open first string and open second string. So like this. Okay, so... When you see a diamond in the tab, it means you play the note as a harmonic. Uh, so the way you do harmonics is you just, you don't really press down on the fret. You don't apply much pressure. You just kind of lean against it gently. And so just like that. So you'll want to give it some practice if you've never done that before, but pretty much you just you're definitely not pressing down on the fret, you're just kind of gently leaning against it. And then when you hit the note, you should also release your finger after, like that, to let the note ring. So just play around with that until you can get it right. And uh, yeah, so those harmonics, uh, they only sound on certain frets, like the 12th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret which is what uh, you'll be seeing in these tabs. So that's where you'll be doing those harmonics. Okay, so on measure 54, you're going to hit both the open fifth string and play a harmonic on the 12th fret first string with your ring finger. Okay, so like this. Then on the 12th fret second string ring finger harmonic, then 2nd fret on the 4th string, the index finger. Okay, so you should have... Next is open 4th string. 
Then 7th fret, 3rd string, with your ring finger, you do a harmonic. 7th fret, 2nd string, ring finger harmonic. 5th fret, 3rd string, index finger, harmonic. So that would be... Then next you play on the 3rd fret, 6th string, with your middle finger. Open 4th string. Open 3rd string. Then you do the open 5th string on the 2nd fret, and you hammer on the 5th string with your index finger. So like this. So you should have... Next, on the 3rd fret, 5th string, with your middle finger. Second fret, fourth string, index finger. Open first string. Open second string. Okay, so that should be. So all together. Then you go on the open 5th string, on the 12th fret 1st string with your ring finger, do a harmonic, 12th fret 2nd string ring finger harmonic. Next is the open 4th string, then on the 7th fret 3rd string do a ring finger harmonic. 7th fret, 2nd string, ring finger harmonic. 5th fret, 1st string, index finger harmonic. Okay, so it should be like this. Next, you hit the open 6th string, and on the 5th fret, 1st string, with your index finger, you do a harmonic. Okay, so that's... And then the next notes are the same as we did before. You go back to this E major shape. Okay, so all together. Then next, do the finger roll, like uh, this. Pretty much this measure, measure 61, is the same as measure 53, so you should be familiar with that. And now, you play measures 54 through 59 again. Now I'll be looking at measures 62 through 71, and I'll play through that once now. Okay, so measure 62 is the exact same as measure 60, so it's just this, we've seen it before. <laughs> measure 63, we go back to this finger roll that you're familiar with. Then you hit the 4th string, open 6th string, then on 2nd fret 6th string with your middle finger. Okay, so you should have... Okay, next, on the 3rd fret of the 6th string, with your ring finger, and then on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string, with your pinky, you do a finger roll. Then open 4th string. Then on the 1st fret of the 2nd string, with your index finger. Then open 2nd string. 
Okay, next, you're going to make this shape with your, uh, on the second fret of the sixth string, your middle finger, and second fret, third string, ring finger, and third fret, second string, your pinky, you do a finger roll. Then you hit the open fourth string. Then you do a percussive slap. Then with the same shape as before, but you lift up your middle finger. And on the first fret of the sixth string, you put your index finger down. Then do another finger roll. Okay? So, what you should have all together is... Okay, going back, you should have... Okay, next is open 4th string. Then on the 2nd fret of the 3rd string, with your ring finger. Then 1st fret, 2nd string, index finger. Then you play open 2nd string. Open 3rd string. Then put on a C major shape. That's 1st fret on the 2nd string with your index finger. 2nd fret, 4th string, middle finger, 3rd fret, 5th string, with your ring finger, and hit both the 5th and the 2nd strings. Then hit the 4th string, do a percussive slap, then do a finger roll. Okay, so you should have... Okay, now on measure 69, you're going to hit the 2nd string on the 3rd fret, and you're going to hammer on with your pinky. Like that. Then on the 1st fret, 2nd string with your index finger. Then you do a finger roll on the open 3rd and 2nd strings. Okay, so you should have... And measure 70 is the same as we done earlier, at some point, which is this. Now on the 3rd fret 6th string with your ring finger, then hit the open 4th string. Then on the 2nd fret 3rd string with your middle finger, then open 3rd string. Okay. You should have... Now repeat measures 64 through 70. Now I'll be looking at measures 72 through 80, and I'll play that through for you one time right now. So, on measure 72, make this shape on the 1st fret on the 4th string with your index finger, and on the 2nd fret of the 5th string with your middle finger. Hit the 5th string, then hit the 4th string. Do a finger roll on the open 1st and 2nd strings. Then on the 2nd fret of the 1st string, put your pinky there. Okay, so you should have... Next, slide into the 3rd fret with your pinky. Okay, and then make this shape. So on the 3rd fret of the 1st string... Uh, yeah, 3rd fret, 1st string with your pinky. 3rd fret, 2nd string with your ring finger and 3rd fret, 5th string with your middle finger, do a finger roll. 
then hit both the first and second strings three times. Okay, so you should have. Then do a finger roll again. Then open third string. Now lift up your pinky, and on the second fret of the first string, with your index finger, do a finger roll. Then open first string. Okay, so all together. Okay, next, you leave your ring finger where it is and make this shape. So on the second fret fifth string with your index finger, and on the second fret of the third string, middle finger, do a finger roll. Okay, then hit both the third and second strings. Then open fourth string. Then hit both the fifth and second strings. Okay, should be like this. Now onto open fourth string. Then on the first fret second string, the index finger. Then open second string. Okay, now on measure 77, this is the same as we did before. Should be familiar with that. And now from this shape, you move your middle finger down a string so it's on the second fret of the third string of the middle finger. And you do a finger roll on the fourth and third strings. Okay, like this. Then open second string. Then first fret second string index finger. Then open second string again. Okay. Then uh, measure 79, same as we did before. You can play it like in the tabs, or you can play it the way I like to do it. And the last note, you hit it on an open second string. So like this. That's the way I do it. Or you can do it the way the tabs say to do it, which is like this. Either way is fine. Okay, now on to measure 80. You gotta make this shape. So, uh, this shape. And that's the first fret of the fourth string with your index finger, second fret, fifth string, middle finger, second fret, third string with your ring finger, and you hit the fifth, fourth, third, second, and first string one at a time. Okay? So. Then on the second fret of the first string, your pinky. Now we'll be looking at measures 81 through 88. And you get into this measure by sliding into uh, the third fret on the first string with your pinky. And this will, this measure, measure 81, it's going to be very familiar, because we did something just like that earlier. So you slide into it, then you make this shape, you do a finger roll, right, like we did before, then another finger roll, then open third string, then you hit both the first and second strings, and then you slide up to the fifth fret after hitting those strings. Okay. Then back to the third fret after hitting the first and second strings. Okay, so that's... Okay, so from the beginning, it's... Now, 
on measure 83, leave your ring finger where it is and lift up your pinky and make this shape. Okay. Well, that's what the shape looks like. And uh, this is basically second fret on the fifth string with your index finger, second fret on the first string with your middle finger, third fret on the second string with your ring finger, and you'll do a finger roll here. Then hit both the first and second strings. Then hit the fifth string. Then hit both the first and second strings. And then on the third fret on the first string, hammer on with your pinky. So like this. Okay. So you should have... Then open 6th string, now lift up your pinky, and on the 2nd fret 1st string, your middle finger should be there, and you'll be playing that note. Then open 3rd string, open 1st string on the 2nd fret, and uh, hammer on with your ring finger, so like this. Okay, so all together should have. Okay, next on measure 85, on the third fret of the first string with your pinky, do a finger roll. Then second fret, fourth string with your middle th finger. Then open third string. Then on the first fret, second string with your index finger. Then open fifth string. Now hit the fourth string. Third fret, first string with your pinky. Slide up to the fifth fret as you do that. Okay, so all together you should have. Okay, next make this shape on the second fret. Uh, this shape. So on the second fret, third string with your index finger, third fret, second string, middle finger, fifth fret, first string, pinky. You're gonna hit the fourth, third, second, and first strings one at a time. Then hit the fourth string and the third string. Then open first string. Then on the second fret on the of the first string with your middle finger. Okay. So, together that's... Now I'll be looking at measures 89 through 102. And I'll play through that once. So measures 89 and 90 are the same as before, uh, so they should be familiar to you. And now for measure 91, um, on the third fret of the fifth string, it's your ring finger, okay, and do a finger roll. Then open third string. 
Open second string. Open third string again. Now on the third fret of the second string, put your pinky there. Then open third string. Then on the first fret of the second string, with your index finger. Then open third string. Okay? So all together, you should have. Okay, again. Next is uh, same as we did before. Okay, so all together, you should have. Okay, now in measure 93, make this familiar shape that you've used before, and do a finger roll, then hit the 4th string, 3rd string, 1st string, 4th string, 3rd string, so all together. Now measures 94 through 97 will look familiar, so I'll just play through it. So. Backing up, we had this. Okay. Now, make the D major shape. Okay, do a finger roll, then on the third fret of the first string with your pinky, do a pull off. Okay. Now you lift off your middle finger, okay, and play the open first string, and on the third fret of the second string with your ring finger. Okay, so all together. All right, now measures 99 through 102 are exactly the same as what we've done before, so I'll just play it. Be looking at measures 103 through 112, and I'll play through it once. So for measures 103, 104, 105, you should be familiar with it because it's the same stuff we played before, which is basically... Now on measure 106, with your pinky on the 8th fret of the 1st string, you do a finger roll, then 7th fret, 1st string, with your ring finger, 5th fret of the 1st string with your index finger, 8th fret, 2nd string with your pinky, 7th fret, 2nd string with your ring finger, open 1st string, then on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string with your ring finger, and on the 1st fret of the 2nd string, index finger. You could also do this as a pull-off, like this. Or you could just do it like this. Okay, so to recap, that's... Alright, so for measure 107, 
and the third fret of the sixth string with your middle finger, and the third fret of the second string with your ring finger, do a finger roll, then open third, then play the open first string, and on the second fret of the first string, you hammer on with your uh, ring finger. So like this. Okay. And on the third fret, first string, with your pinky. Okay. So together you should have. Alright, next on the third fret of the fifth string, with your ring finger. Then open third string, open first string, and on the second fret of the first string, with your ring finger. Alright, next is something we've done before, which is this. Now put on the D major shape and do a finger roll. Open first string. Finger roll on the third and second strings, and then open first string again. Alright, so that's... Alright, next put on this shape, okay, which is 2nd fret of the 5th string, middle finger, 2nd fret, 4th string, ring finger, and 2nd fret, 3rd string with your pinky. And you're going to hit strings 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 4. Okay? So 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 4. Now, lift off your pinky, and on the first fret of the... Yeah, now on the first fret of the third string, put your index finger. Okay? So all together. Then you play the open 6th string. And on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string, with your pinky. Then open 1st string, but you hammer on to the 1st string with your index finger. Okay? Then hammer on to the 3rd fret of the 1st string with your middle finger. Alright, so it's like this. Then on the fifth fret of the first string with your pinky, slide up to the seventh fret as you hit that note. Okay, so what you should have is. Alright, so now we're going to be looking at measures 113 through the end of the song, which is measure 123. And we last left off at this. So I'll continue from there. So, starting on measure 113, actually, measures 113 through 116, you should be familiar with already, so I'll just play through it. Alright, now on measure 117, on the 3rd fret 1st string with your pinky, do a finger roll. Then on the 2nd fret of the 4th string with your middle finger, now make this shape, okay, and this shape is on the 1st fret of the 2nd string, index finger, 2nd fret 4th string with your middle finger, 2nd fret 1st string with your ring finger, and do a finger roll, okay, and then open 1st string, so what you should have is, 
And measure 118 is the same as we did in measure 110, if you recall. So. Okay, now make this shape. Okay. So here you can actually make the shape that we did in measure 111, but I recommend using the one I'm about to show you now, which is this one. Okay, so in measure 111, we we made this shape, if you recall. Right? That's what we did before. But instead of making this shape, I want you to do this shape. Right? So this is a uh, 2nd fret 5th string, the index finger, 2nd fret 4th string, the middle finger, and 2nd fret 3rd string, the ring finger. And you're going to hit the 6th, 5th, 4th, and 3rd string. So, like this. Okay. Then hit the 2nd and the 1st string. Then, on the 3rd fret of the 1st string, pinky. And slide that to the 5th fret. Okay, so like this, all together. Okay, once again. Okay, so from the 5th fret, slide up to the 7th fret. And here we're using the familiar fingerings from before. Uh, and we can do two finger rolls, right? This one. And then that one. So we've done that last time. Then on the seventh fret of the first string, with your pinky, slide down as you hit that note. Okay? Then make this shape that, uh, if you recall, we've made this shape before in one of the previous measures, and maybe like a couple lessons ago, right? If you remember, there's a part in the song where we did this. Right? So just make this shape again, and do a finger roll this time. Then on the third fret first string, it's your middle finger, okay, like this. And on the fifth fret of the first string with your pinky, okay, so what you should have is okay, now on the last measure, you make this shape, okay, from there, you make this shape. And now you can just strum it down, or you can strum it up if you think it sounds better. And uh, yeah, so this shape is second fret, fifth string, index finger, second fret, first string with your middle finger, and fourth fret, fourth string with your pinky. Okay. Okay, just a note, uh, if you're trying to make that chord, this very last, that very last chord, and your hand is hurting when you're trying to do it, that's, that's normal if you've never done that, this chord before. It's supposed to hurt your hand just because, I guess it just does. So, I don't recommend like doing it too often because you might injure yourself. So, maybe do some hand stretches or whatever, but, yeah, like, don't be surprised if that chord uh, kind of hurts your hand when you're trying to do it. You might get some cramps. Okay, so that's the end of the video. I really hope that I was able to help you learn this song. And if you, if I did, please let me know. I mean, it'll feel pretty cool knowing that I was able to help some people out. 
And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you enjoy, and I guess I'll see you later.